Hey guys, I'm Jeremy, KJ7IAZ, and this is Ham Radio Insights, and I have a fun one for you today. Today, we're going to be building a mustache antenna, so wish me luck. Alright guys, we're not really going to pump any uh, power through the real mustache, but inside this package I do have something fun to play with. So let's find out what's in here. Oh, a box. What's inside the box? Woo. This is copper tape. This stuff is gonna be real fun to play with. We're gonna do lots of projects with it. But first of all, I wanna show you if I can't make an antenna that looks like a mustache. But first, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we don't have any sponsors here. But if you do like this kind of content, you do like the channel, please subscribe, like the thing, share it with your friends, and help grow this channel. Thanks. All right, first thing we need to do is figure out how long this thing needs to be. Um, just going to use my quick app, type in 440, I'll just do 440 for now, shows 0.56 feet, so a little over um, 6 inches, so we'll do like 6.5 inches or something. It's going to have a curl on it, so it isn't going to leave, it's going to throw our measurements all off anyway, because it'll put some little bit of inductance in there, but um, let's figure out where it resonates when we build it, about that distance, and uh, if we need to let it grow, we'll uh, sit around and let it grow. <laughs> All right, get our handy dandy tape measure out. So what I'm gonna do to make it even is I'll go to like one foot, 12 inches, and just snip there. And then I will fold this thing over in half and cut out a mustache looking shape, I guess. So we'll probably want to, I don't know if you can see that. Now, we might want to file this project under stuff not to try at home. <laughs> um, what the heck, we're having fun today. Does that look mustachy enough? Do you think that's gonna work? Yeah, we're having fun today, aren't we boys? So this stuff's pretty flimsy, so I'm gonna just put it on this little piece of cardboard that I cut out. We will, um, should be able to just peel and stick. If you guys get some of this, I, I just bought this on Amazon, you guys saw the package. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive, they make different sizes. You could uh, get some real narrow stuff and basically make tracks for any sort of electronics projects. So let's just go about right there. Get this thing peeled out. It's, uh, it's like copper foil, so it's a little bit Got a bend in it somewhere here. Let's. We're probably gonna destroy one or two of these trying to build it, but oh, just like that. Um. Ah, no, we do. Let's try to get this. Oh. All right. Let's try this again. I don't know if this is gonna be easier to just do. Get that peeled down and then just I 
this stuff's kind of funny to work with, but hey, look, it worked. So. Well, I screwed up because my second piece I cut, I cut it to be the same size, so now it's not going to be the opposite. So let's cut another piece. to be a little bit more round I think all right so that's matching I think this time I'm gonna actually try it from the other side just to get it a little bit oh man it rolls off there if you guys use this it rolls off and then it just sticks to itself really good so so I want to get this off see how many times I have to do this before I actually get it right Fold this back, line that up, and then try to get this end stuck down right first. It's a little crooked, but hey, we're just having a fun project. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Funny, it's lopsided, but let's see if we can get it to radiate. So, move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh man, we got a pile of mustache trimmings here. Looks like my bathroom when I have to. My bathroom sink when I have to trim my mustache. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got these little guys here. Oh. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I got these little, uh, little spade connectors and I just put a 90 degree bend on them. I'm just gonna solder them onto here and then I'll be able to just hook this up to the handy talk clip this onto it. And then if I decide to do something a little bit more permanent, um, I can do that. Put just a wire in there and do it. It might be kind of a fun conversation piece at a meeting or, or something too, or just to see if there's some, <laughs> you get the new people to laugh, show them what's actually possible and how easy antennas really are. So let's solder this up, get the solder gun all heated up here. What we want to do is just heat this up and put a little dab on it. I don't know if this might just burn through it. I don't know. But we'll find out. Oh, that actually took pretty good. So then we can set these down on top of that solder. And we'll just get that hole right over the solder. And then we'll just add a bunch more solder to it. And hopefully it all sticks together. That took pretty good. Always experimenting. If you stop experimenting, then I guess you're just stop having fun. I don't know. I guess if you're a ham that doesn't like experimenting, then uh, I guess that's your deal. But if you're a ham that likes experimenting, don't stop experimenting. Have some fun. Show me what your fun projects are. Hey there. I think we have it. Let's go get the Nano VNA and see where this thing's resonant at. All right, I've got the Nano VNA and I've got this. Now these test leads, I gotta try to keep them together or it's gonna probably screw up the results, but let's hook this bad boy up. Actually, I should see if these are, oh, those are on there. Good, yeah, that worked really good. Better than I expected. Let's plug these bad boys on here and see where this thing is resonant. I suspect with the corner on the end it's acting like loading inductance it's probably going to be low um let me get these on as close together as i can in the spirit of challenging myself and being a glutton for punishment i decided i would just put this little end on there so i kind of prepped it i'll just get that thing soldered in there and we'll have it a little bit more permanent problem is is those leads they're basically if they're not hooked together they're turn they're not canceling each other out and it's the leads are in antenna so it's throwing everything out of whack so live and learn I guess so let's do some edit later if we have to. 
All right, so that gives us, I don't know if you can tell, and who knows, but that's pretty darn close. I think that 450 is probably about perfect. So let's see if we can't get this thing on the air. All right, how does that work? Does it seem like it's working okay? Yeah, you bet. I can't seem to tell any difference. That's great. It's always, always a good thing when that happens. Now you want to hear the funny part? Go. I, it's a mustache antenna and I'm filming a video for YouTube. Yeah, I can't be all serious in science in, in ham radio. You gotta have some fun once in a while. Oh, you bet. Yeah, a good giggle is worth it stuff. So, anyway. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please click down there and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you get in another fun video down the road.